Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 10 update error that is 0x8073701 while updating your Windows 10 to version 1909. So if you're receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run Windows Update Troubleshooter. To run Windows Update Troubleshooter, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings, click on Update and Security, then click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Windows Update and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and try updating Windows 10 once again. Now still you are facing the problem, then you can restart Windows Update Services. To restart Windows Update Services, type in Services in Windows search box and then make a right click, then click on Run as Administrator and then find Windows Update. So here you can see Windows Update. Make sure the Windows Update is running and is set to automatic. So make a right click then click on properties then if it is not set to automatic then go ahead and select automatic then click on start if this one is highlighted then click on start or simply click on apply ok and then make a right click on windows update once again and then click on restart services so you have to click on restart to restart windows update services then restart your computer and then try to update windows 10 if this does not resolve, then run the DISM command. To run the DISM command, type in PowerShell in Windows search box. And then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on Run as Administrator, then click on Yes to allow. And then copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command, then paste the command in the PowerShell window, and then hit the Enter key on the keyboard. Now it will take a couple of minutes to complete the scan. Once the scan is complete, restart your computer and then try updating Windows 10. So here you can see scan is running. Once this is 100%, restart your computer, close this window and then restart your computer and then try updating Windows 10. Now still you are facing the problem then you can use Windows 10 Update Assistant to update your Windows 10. So to run this Windows 10 Update Assistant, open Google Chrome or you can open any browser and then type in media creation tool so type in media creation tool in Win in google search and click on the microsoft link which says download windows 10 disk image click on it and it will take you to the microsoft website and then here you can see update assistant so this will go ahead and update your windows 10 to the latest version so click on update now it will download a tool run this exe file and then click on yes to allow it will go ahead and check the update and it will install the update to the latest version still you're facing the problem then on the same media creation tool this is the last step if nothing works this you can go ahead and try this step which is to use media creation tool so you can use media creation tool to update your windows 10 so click on download tool now run this exe file click on yes to allow A tool will download and here you can see the media creation tool running on my computer. Now this process will take time because uh, it will go ahead and download the complete Windows 10 file along with the latest update. Now this uh, file may be around uh, 5 to 6 gigabyte. So depending upon the speed of your internet, it will go ahead and download the file. And after that, it will you can go ahead and install Windows 10 along with the latest update. So this process will take time, but do not worry about that. It, it will not only take care of the Windows update issue. If you have any, any other issue related to your operating system, it will also take care of that. So many of the issues are resolved by updating your Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool. So agree to the terms, click on accept. Now do not worry about the data loss because uh, you might be thinking that if I download the complete Windows 10 file and during the installation what happens if I lose my data right. 
So do not worry about the data loss uh, because you will not lose any data because during the installation you will see this option which says keep personal files and app. You will see this option. So by default this option will be checked. So make sure that this option is checked. When this is checked you will not lose any data on your computer. So do not worry about the data loss. So still getting things ready. I just want you to show the next screen, the next option. So here you can see the by default the upgrade this PC now option is highlighted over here. So select the option which says upgrade this PC now and then click on next and it will start downloading the Windows 10 file along with the latest update. So here you can see it's downloading right now once after the download is complete it will go ahead and start installing Windows 10 along with the latest update and during the installation it will give you an option which will say choose what to keep then you have to by default this will be checked we say we say is keep personal files and app so make sure that this is checked in that case you will not lose any data and then click on next and then you can proceed with the installation during the installation your computer may restart so do not worry about that it may take time but it will go ahead and get rid of the error you know with windows 10 so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel